Hey there and welcome to Costa Rica Story. And you're probably wondering to yourself, why the long sleeve shirt? Why the long pants? Well, the simple and quick answer is bugs, insects, mosquitoes, those kind of fun things. I'm not deep in the jungle, but I'm off the trails into the jungle just a little bit. And I'm standing by this giant cebu tree. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right or not. Cebu, cebu. But this tree is humongous. I, I mean, this even the camera can't do it justice. But yeah, there's, there's ants falling out of the tree. So you see me do that. That's why. the marvel just one of those things another one of those things where costa rica amazes you and it's been doing that ever since i got here i've been here just like two days over a month a month and two days so it has not disappointed it's it's thrown several pleasant surprises and i mean and it's not all it's not all uh perfect it's not a perfect situation ever and i didn't expect it to be but you take the good with the bad. I mean, it's a, it's a hot, humid climate, and I am loving that part of it, but I, I don't like it when I have to go somewhere and I'm all sweaty. And I go through quite a few shirts a day. I don't have a washer and dryer, so I'm doing the laundry by hand, so that's kind of a pain in the, in the butt. I've considered this first month a, a really a training it's training me for survival in Costa Rica a little bit. I, I'm, I'm not as timid about things as I was. I'm still very careful on the trails and things, but I'm not, I'm not imagining that, that there's a killer snake behind every rock. I mean, there very well could be, but I'm cautious, but I'm not like, I'm not letting my fears keep me from you know, doing a little exploring just you know, I'm being careful as we should be but I've done a lot of walking I've established a good workout plan up the mountain it's about a, a six mile round trip I've been eating so much better getting a lot more exercise and I've been meeting a lot of people which has been great because for the last year I've been working from home and not being able to talk to anybody but I've just met a lot of a lot of cool people and You'll see in some of the upcoming videos some of the uh, the different stories that I've encountered, and everybody's got a story, and there's some interesting stories. I've just I've just got the tip of the iceberg with a lot of a lot of what's going on here, but this was the perfect place for me to to start off because I'm in walking distance of of everything in town. I would say I have a really good support network, and I'm very lucky to have the people that I've met so far. And I think it's real important when you go someplace new. The first people that you encounter are going to play a big role in where you go from there because you know you meet that person that they introduce you to another person and you've got all these friends and you know you, you start off with good quality friends and it, it tends to uh, produce more quality friends and I, I can tell you that all the friends I have here are top quality really great people and expat tico they're all people that would give you the shirt off their back and i'm you know who you are out there so i'm thinking all of you so if you move when you're moving here you know establish some friendships and relationships because that's what it's all about and it is about adjustments there's so many adjustments that you need to make like for instance you have to adjust to <laughs> insects they're all over the place you gain a new uh, relationship with ants you kind of have to submit to ants. You can't really fight it for everywhere. You just have to respect them. They respect you. I mean, you, you go out to dinner, so, out, you know, outside somewhere, and there's going to be ants crawling around. There'll be maybe there'll be ants on your table. And like the other day, I had ant, ants crawling on my coffee, my little coffee saucer. And I was like, every time I put my cup down, I was trying not to crush any ants because it's like, you know, you kind of have this like. Yeah, yin and yang going on with nature and you try to not disturb things as much as possible. I mean, it's going to happen. You're going to step on ants every day because their ants are everywhere, but you try not to. 
And Costa Rica has made it a lot easier for me to, to get into a better eating pattern. I mean, it's not perfect, but I, I'm no longer going to Dunkin' Donuts and getting what I used to call the suicide six, which was I get six jelly donuts and a cup of coffee and take it home and I'd have, a, I'd have that eaten by noontime. My suicide six now is this, my six mile hike up the mountain. Well, that's all I've got for right now. You can bet there will be more to come here on Costa Rica Story. That's a big tree. That's a big tree. Mm -hmm.